David Ollie here again for Sooty Park. I'm with Liam Killeen. You're going to have to stand a little bit closer, mate. It's, uh, we're nice and chummy on Sooty Park. Uh, Liam, it's your second World Cup. Now, you did race in Melbourne in 2006 in the Com Games. Had a good race? Yeah, 2006 was a good year for me. Uh, I started off winning, by winning the Commonwealth Games in Melbourne. Uh, that was great because um, four years previous to that, I was third. So to get another medal was good. Okay, and so that the when you got third, that was oh, pretty much close to your home territory, wasn't it? Yeah, that was well, it was in Manchester, which is about 100, uh, 200 kilometres from where I live. So it was yeah, fairly local, and um, yeah, it was great to race in front of a home crowd there. All right, now I do have a theory uh, applies to all winners of all mountain bike races that every winner loves the course. Now the course in uh, in Melbourne probably wasn't loved by all. Was it loved by the winner? It was, it was a, physically, it was very demanding because there wasn't much uh, let up on the course. It was a fast course. Uh, it lacked a little bit of technical sections. Um, but, you know... I think it was built by gardeners, not by mountain bikers, that course. Yeah, it was very, very manicured. Um, but that gave... Very manicured, very good. Yeah. I like that, yeah. It's an apt description of our home course. <laughs> yeah, but it... it it looked good on television and, you know, it's good for, good, good for spectators. I guess that's the important thing, looks good on the telly well, and good for the winner. Yeah, you know, I can't complain, I won the race and that's sort of matters. Now, in that race, uh, an Australian did have a good one. Did you, were you just happy to let him hang out there? Did you, were you confident you could reel him in or, or that he'd die? Or? Uh, I was fairly confident that I could bring him back. Uh, obviously, early on, the gap was fairly big, um, but, you know, there was a hot hard race and I knew if I kept my lap times consistent I should win the race and yeah that's what happened. Okay back to the present last week uh, was the first round in Hoofalese now your start number last week was yeah I was a little bit way back uh, in Hoofalese I was 140 uh, that, that's due to not such a good year last year I had to miss a, a few months just due to illness um, yeah s similar scenario this weekend I'm back at 127 but you know, if I, well, I'm gonna, I, I need to get a top 50 at least, and uh, that's what I, I'll aim to do. With the men's ranking, it seems to be from the the top 60. You, you, once you get in that, you're kind of protected. Yeah, and yeah, I just missed out on that last weekend. So, pardon, pardon me, I'm not sure. Where did you finish last weekend? Uh, I was in the top 60th, 60s, but I finished up 69th. From a start place of 141, or yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's. Um, uh, I don't don't know if everyone knows with mountain biking. Like on a World Cup, there was 270 men last weekend on the start line, and if you're in 140th, it's really mountain biking is really determined by first into the single track. And if you're in 145th or whatever, it's a it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot of traffic to get past. Were you able to get through many get past many at the start, or did you just wind it through the whole five um, six laps? Yeah, the start was pretty chaotic, and I, yeah, I made up like maybe 20, 30 spots, but the main overtaking was done during the laps. It was hard to make up a lot of places at the start, because everybody's trying to do that. Yeah, okay. Oh, Liam, uh, good luck for tomorrow, and I do like the red kit. I do like the pink kit as well, but the pink for the girls, red for the boys. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.